Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Hector episode 3. Let's play the game and load game 1. It's another day. So we were about to get into a fight with uh, this farmer. So we need to switch to Hector, because if somebody's going to do a fight, it's going to be... you have to help me out. Hey, Gads, how many times a day do I hear that? There's a carroty old psycho farmer who wants to crush me like a grape. Oh, bleed, Nell Lambert. What do I always tell you about wandering off and talking to strangers? <laughs> I only offered to pet Hillary and help her out with her bowel problem. I'll leave you alone for one minute and you proposition a man's wife. Why would you even do that? She's a cow. Lambert, what's come over you? It's not like you to belittle women. <laughs> no, I mean a real one of the bovine variety. He tells me she has a penchant for eating machine parts. The very spark plug we need for the harvester is likely in her lower intestine as we speak. We get that. We're one step closer to getting out of here. So this uh, sparky thing we need to fix the harvester is inside a cow. Affirmative. Hmm. But he says I've got no choice but to fight it for Hillary. And if we try to leave the area without a tussle, they'll shoot us like dogs. Now, this is important. Did he specifically say us or you? Well, I could have mentioned there were two of us. Oh, Christ, Lambert. What does he look like? Could I take him? I don't know, boss. He's quite chunky and his arms are hairier than yours. I'll put this bumpkin in his place. Let me at him. So, the piñata is a piñata of a bull, so maybe I can convince the cow to attack. But we'll see. It's very, very strange that we have gone this long. It feels like it's been a real long time and we still aren't past this first set of puzzles. I thought this was going to be a lot shorter. I can't combine those things. So these things don't work. Examine this and he does Surely something. this whole hack rule is only intended to humiliate in an effort to put me off my stroke. Well it won't hmm. work for I have no shame. I am, however, a tad hesitant about putting this on my head after blocking a slurry pipe with it. Oh well, for honor. So apparently I needed a hat. Oh, chuckles. One sec, does all up in your grill, you'll have cowbells clanking in your ears till coffee. Like, I didn't even have a conversation you're to about the that. Ways of the dairy farmer. So how's this work then? Somebody ring a bell or something? No, no, hmm. we take it in turns. Since you're the visiting party, you get to go first. <laughs> oh, how lucky for you, mate. So we Can had to... I think I'll smack him in the fat farmer's teat-sucking lips. I think I'll pound in his ear into organic cauliflower. Hmm, I think I'll drive his lower teeth up out of his prominence bone. Uh, hmm, can't go wrong with the big papa, the kappa dropper. Let's try this one. Take a whiff of this cow, Pat. You see, that wasn't even a conversation. Oh, what in the pink chubby others did you think you're doing? It's a fight, ain't it? It's like you weren't even trying. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even a dairy farmer at this point. Was that <laughs> not right? Look, it's my turn, all right. But we ain't even really a contest at this point. Now, oh, come on, bring it then. I've got a face like a sack of stones. Looks like I win. Win? Did you even compete? Look, Boyle, it's obvious you're new here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice. You go rim punching people full ball like that, you're gonna lose a lot of cows. Gotta protect your milking hands, see? Dip them in warm money mm. and sheep urine every night. Make some salt and <laughs> Anyway, you want another shot at the title? Just show up with your hat again. I know. What just happened? Okay, so we need the other guy who's a wimp to do this. So let's give this item to Lambert. Lambert, it's your round. What, me? Yes, I've learned you're far more suited to dairy farmer rules than I ever will be. Hmm. Any fighting tips? Only this, Lambert. I want you to hit this guy as hard as you can. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. What if he ends up in casualty? He won't. You can trust me on this one. So we gotta switch back to Lambert. 
And see, this is a pretty good setup for a, a joke that you're getting into this fight. Uh, you're getting into this fight, but the fight is really nothing. And thus, Wimp Lambert here needs to use. I used to love the used. Yards before today. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go talk to the challenge the farmer, I suppose. Uh, mister? Oh, ah, uh, fresh meat. You think you're a better farmer than me, do you? You think you can touch up another man's cow and lift it on the <laughs> tail, hey? Um. Well, go on, boy. Take your best dairy farmer swing. Okay, but just so you know, some people have affectionately nicknamed me the Naughty Kitten on account of my irritable temper. Hmm, <laughs> think I'll bop him silly. Hmm, is bopping slanging for hitting or doing sex? Or is it dancing? That reminds me, Philomena's booked us for a salsa class. So, I guess we'll take this one. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. He made me do it. <laughs> That'll be hard to beat what can tells you. No, my turn. No, no, no. Uh, wouldn't you know it? You win square and fair. <laughs> I was fooling myself to think I could ever beat your blow. You're the stuff of legend now. You'll be talked about round these parts for many years to come. What's your name? Stranger Lambert. Well, that ain't too legendary. Now you'll be forever known as Baylor the Limp Wristed. Go on, Hillary. <laughs> You've got a new daddy now. So now we need to get the spark plug out. Oh, yay! Boss, we got Hillary. I've always wanted a best friend. Come on, Hill. Let's hang out. And that's not how I figured the piñata head would be used. And this game, certainly episode 3 in particular, is obsessed with butts. Now, Hill, this shouldn't hurt a bit. If it does, I apologize in advance. Now, I've never done this, but I've used a rubber glove just like this one to help my grandma with her pile cream. Ooh, you don't have any hoof and mouth disease, do you? <laughs> Gross. Oh, well. I'm nowhere near your hooves or mouth, so chances are no I'll pick up any sort of disease from this. <laughs> oh, there's the little blighter. Good girl, Hillary. You were amazing. Hmm. So we now have the three things, but how would I clean off the spark plug so it actually worked? Hmm. I thought he might say something there. Hillary went through so much to save us. So this with this. What would heck to do? Probably just call me a numpty. Let's just go ahead and try and use all of these on the engine. Oh, Hillary, you've never let me down. Then use this on the engine. That's it. Spark plug, nuts, and a spanner. We're on the home stretch. And now, as Philomena always says to me, just do what you have to do while I mentally tune out for a bit. Oh, Philomena, <laughs> Lamp is coming home. I'm not so sure about this. Hillary looks a little bit agitated, and technically, we're participating in crew. <laughs> Another example of the audio being a little quieter than the rest of the game. And I suppose 
badge of carnage is the entire first season they were probably planning to have a second season just a few more months would have done it under the circumstances she did well oh good old McCracky right Lambert we need to move fast easier said I know uh, I'll give you a second to catch your breath oh, then we need to warn the general public about this terrorist threat over there there's one sir run away run away immediately Lambert you're frightening people let me handle this Sir, there is a red level biochemical bomb primed to go off at this very festival. A synthetic toxin is about to be unleashed on Clatter's Reach, turning everyone into ravenous marauding bastards. <laughs> and there's a small chance that rodents are behind this. No, you imbecile, that was the test subject. <laughs> oh, please, for the love of sauerkraut, get away while you still have the use of your limbs. So, uh, corrupt. Didn't you hear what he just said? Run for it! Sour cloud? No. Hey, yippee. You said... Buggeration. This approach is pointless and time-consuming. We can't warn everyone individually. We need to find a way to warn the entire town all at once, causing a mass panic and a crushing stampede <laughs> for the exit. So... I'm a little interested to see if we're ever going to get a map here. And Clapfest apparently has happened, and I think we're in the same park, maybe. An empty beverage cup. Always useful. Let's go and grab that. Let's just pick up things off the ground I could first. Carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. Like, little things on the ground here aren't actually anything but litter. There's nothing I like more than hoking in public bins. It's not degrading at all. Oh, please, let there be a discarded chicken and mushroom fall up in there. So nothing there. Let's look at the banner. I spelled it wrong. The L should have been an R. <laughs> oh, blimmin' it. Is that the time already? So, look at the pot of food. That is one great steaming kettle of something. Let's go and try to examine the coffee cup before we use it. Because I don't look enough like a homeless loony. We'll double click on that again. I'm carrying around a discarded takeaway coffee cup. Because I don't look enough like a homeless loony. Click here and do Tasty this. as it looks, that gunk will ruin my cup before you can say fod glorious fod. And we could try to talk to the booth operator. <laughs> what kind of stupid prize is an empty plinth? Not a British word I'm not familiar with. <laughs> what kind of stupid prize is an empty hmm. plinth? Let's move forward. This fowl might have made for a cheerful afternoon if it didn't have the stench of impending death hanging over it. Or we could look at the street. Hmm. Let's go this way first. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> this way. if... Actually, there's only a small oh. puzzle here. Uh. Oh. Oh. Chief, I'm almost glad to see you. We need to move fast. Hector Lambert, I'm shocked. Turning up to a public event square in the eye of the greater community. And you've chosen to wear that. But Chief Lambert, this is the sort of Tommy Rot I've come to expect from Hector, but not from you. <laughs> You're right, sir. I'm a disgrace to my profession. I've been telling him that for years. Look, mate, you dare address me as an equal? What happened to respect protocol? Do these things He's not gonna listen to me. Anymore? Not in the face of total civilian annihilation. No excuse for it. Are we back in control now? We have a water board kit and illegal weaponry. And let's see, trifold display. Ah, oh, in keeping with the government's new open door policy, Meeks has posted a list of what the police service budget was squandered on this year. Hmm. 
nine grand spent on a crate of CW police branded fuzzy bugs handed out to struggling primary schools. Hmm. Let's look at the weaponry. The standard set of interrogation tools. Oh, great, you brought the weapons cash. Hand it over. I beg your pardon. These are for the community display. It's a collection of things we don't use in everyday police work. Allegedly. Public eye and all that. <laughs> oh, sweet memories. I remember using this on the Clapmal car park attendant after he refused to break a 20. Oh, come on, Chief. I'm after a terrorist. Well, you're going to have to do it the traditional way. What, a monocle and a notepad? <laughs> Enough to do the job back in my day. Back in your day, terrorists were still called ne'er-do-wells. So, let's look at Meeks and try and talk to him, I guess. That's Chief Superintendent Meeks, man of iron. We call him that because of the fine creases in his uniform. Meeks is another character who just displays incompetence. And see, as far as the comedy uh, story, it doesn't really have help at all. That the boss is incompetent, Hector is incompetent, Lambert's incompetent. Uh, somebody around here should be actually good at their jobs, surprisingly so. Uh, and there should be different personalities and different things, and it's not really the case. Let's see. Let's look at the murder. Let's try to talk to Meeks, I guess. Hmm. Sir, the people of Clapper's Reek are in grave danger. What? Preposterous. I'm the chief of police. I outrank you. Surely if there were any danger, I would have known about it first. Hmm. Some sort of infectious toxin is primed for release at this very event. Toxin? Don't be daft. The only illness this town has is clefist fever. The town is positively virulent with excitement and uh, infectious with <laughs> general tomfoolery and mucking about. Why, I'm as giddy as a schoolboy and about as useful in a fist fight. So what I'm wondering is if this toxin doesn't turn everybody into nice people, if it turned a nice animal into a mean animal. Sir, I need backup. <laughs> well, you're in luck, dear boy. Every man on the force is here already. They are where? Why, in the beer tent, of course. I was rather surprised you weren't in there earlier. Yes, as a thank you for all we've done for the community, the organizer of this first-rate affair has provided an unlimited drinks pass to any and all police officers. And too right, I say. I haven't mm. seen the boys this excited since the raid on Madam Edna's massage for men. How is it you've allowed the entire force to get royally soused at once? Oh, go on, Hector. Why shouldn't our hard-working chaps enjoy a bit of rest and relaxation? I would hardly call funneling enough cheap lager down their necks to incapacitate a rhino relaxing. Oh, any other day of the week you'll be the first in the queue. Guilty. <laughs> so we went full circle there. Didn't do anything. Who gives a flying toss about my clothes? Hector, if I may, you really do look like a frightful boob. Sir, the only thing stopping you from seeing a frightful boob is this gown. So thank <laughs> your lucky stars, I still have it tied up. Hmm. But sir, at times I have called you from home wearing nothing but a look of mild contempt. Hector, I have heard enough of your nonsense. Today is a day to be proud of Clapper's week. So he's not going to do anything until I have either clothes with a higher sense. rank I than him or an equal. So am I acting alone on this one, Chief? Chief? I'm sorry, peculiar visitor to our town. You're speaking as though you are a member of my unit and not an escaped basket case, as I can only assume you must be. The hmm. toilets are at the other end of the pier. Good day. Let's look at the murderer now. This grammar school yearbook voted him most likely to succeed. 
after gunning down an entire fast food restaurant. And he did. 36 <laughs> times. Let's talk to the murderer. I bet it feels nice to see the Earth's sun once again, I chum. And let's see. Whose idea was this? My. I wanted to show the public we were taking troublemakers like these off the street. So you brought one back out onto it. <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not indeed? Where does one start? Alright, let's look at the chair. No time for a kip. No time for a kip. Can't sit down in the chair. Doesn't look like there's anything else, so let's go to the beer tent now. That giant bee on the tent looks promising. Unless it's the Clappers Beekeeping Association. Hmm. Really wish they would get some clothes. Oh my. Aren't you a wee rockin' dude, eh? Kitty's face painting. A very twee. Round here it's normally done with needles. You know who gave rock and roll to you? God did. Aye, he did, you know. Gave it to everyone. I'm sure I know that geezer. Scots accent, greenish tinge. But the nice threads throw me off a bit. Ah, sure it'll come to me eventually. He's the... He's the drunk from the first episode. Back to Superintendent meets his boneheaded notion of community outreach. Clapper's finest indeed. So... I wonder if they'll serve men in backless dresses. Let's go in here. Oh, bags, look at the state of these turkey twizzlers. Well, you gotta work with what you got. Listen up, meat sacks. Hey, hey, look, guys. Hector, and he's wearing a dress. Why, hey, hey. This festival mm. is under terrorist threat. Clapfest is currently on Terra Code Black. You've got 30 seconds to assemble an attack plan, Riker Theta 11. Why, hey, hey. Hey man, why are you wearing a dress? Sweet virgin mothers of teenage yothers, be easier to mobilize woodlice than this lot. Dance for us, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> so it's another example of a scene where the background music is way too much foreground. It looks like they have a wood train whistle in there that's going off. Uh, very softly. Let's just get the beer and leave, I suppose. Beer in a paper cup. How uncouth. This is how a man drinks beer. I hope we all learned something today. Let's take the mugs. Oh, maybe they'll do a lager fountain later. That always classes up a party. Can't grab it. Oh, maybe they'll do. Right. Look at the whiskey. Oh, angry spouse. I love her like she's my dear old mum. That abusive, horrid, life-sucking addict, Trollop. Hey, Cornish, isn't that your wife with Buxton over there? Hmm? Oh, sorry, just a trick of the light. Okay, so we get some whiskey. And then we've got a bunch of drunk cops. Look at the little cake. This one must be light beer. Light beer. Do I look like I drink light beer? This one must be light beer. Hmm. Whiskey bottle. What the? Put those things together. Not bloody light me. Let's double check this. I've had this stuff. You can actually feel your gums, tongue, and esophagus getting inebriated as it makes the trip down. Let's try these two together. This ought to make him stone cold drunk. Hmm, make who stone cone drug? The boss? I mean, are we already to a solution? Just accidentally? Oh, it's cushiony soft. I didn't think we would take the Union Jack. There, that's their flag. Uh, Follow me, men, for battle and glory. Sorry, Lord. Hmm. The 
it's like a little bit of national pride in my pocket. Let's see, let's look at the face paints. I suppose I could camouflage my ass so it blends in. Feels like a bleeding target. <laughs> Definitely true. Face painting. The middle class parents nod to the atavistic savagery in us all. Let's talk to the familiar fellow. Mother of crapulence, if it isn't trampy, look at my poncy, you look, Tim. Okay, so we sobered him up with coffee. And now we're gonna go full circle and get him drunk again. Why? I don't know. But I guess that's what we're gonna do. That that would be full circle and funny. If you prefer the alliterate nickname, it's me, your old mate, D. I. Hector. Oh, I need his clothes. That's why. If I squint, your outline is vaguely familiar, though. You used to live in a tip next to the station. I'd prefer to forget about that part of my life. I'm a changed man, you know. All thanks to Hector. It's you. I didn't recognize you in your... Uh, how have you been since I last saw you? Same old, same old building fell on me, blew up toilet to get out. You, the usual burn down the church yesterday. You can't complain. Woke up in a septic tank. My life is an unending tsunami of gutter piss. You. My life is one unending tsunami of gutter piss. You. Maze a maze. I'm a new man since you got me off the drink. Hmm. This kid over here looks like the the urchin in the second episode too. I should probably warn you that this fair's about to go to hell in a handbasket. Crikey! Oh? Some sort of bastard inducing bomb, I think. Don't quote me though. Well I'll keep the good eye out. Hmm. So that's Full circle there. Well, well, we've exhausted it. We haven't actually gone full circle. What you drinking these days, Timbo? Yeah, but the bean of caffeine, friend. Coffee got me back on track. I'll never waver. Cause if I waver, eh, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the man who's wavering to you. I, I don't know. Sometimes I just say stuff. Twenty-five years of drunkenness make for a poorly filed attic, if you get me. <laughs> That's a misquote of a song lyric. So you're still off the sauce? Never touch a drop. No, the noble bean is my solace too. Okay. If I even a drop of the old stuff, I'd probably go back to the jabbering husk of a man I once was. Yeah, but you were so funny. So now we've gone full circle with that. Yeah, smell your life. Well, you should talk. So, let's give this to him. One coffee, sir. Ah, thank you. No, hang on a wee sec, cause that's fresh. Ah. Ah, tain't even warm. Is there some stuff to vice frappino poncy wee summer dessert coffee? Um, bah, I like my coffee like I like my woman. Milk, two sugars with foam, skinny double soy with sugar f free syrup shots, decafed. Hmm. I don't understand any of these jokes. Let's go with this one. Skinny double soy with sugar free syrup shots. No! Hot enough to tear off my lips. Right. Boy, try to do a guy a favor. So I've got to heat up the whiskey. Let's look at the tiny human. Great paint job. Almost covers the cold sore scabs and snot. Hmm. Let's talk to him. My, my. What a fierce little uh, differently abled individual. Alright. Let's look at Clapfest. What further cultural delights does Clapfest have for us this way? And let's move this way. So we've already seen three scenes, four scenes. Perfect. Event security. Well, not perfect, but at this point I'll take anyone. Listen, mm. there's a... 
No, listen, forget the gun for a second. Trousers. I'm a police officer in the middle of a very bad day. This festival. Shirt. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's a boat. <laughs> listen, chimp, if you're not part of the solution, then piss off. I need to warn everybody right flipping now, and you can't stop me. Or perhaps you can. <laughs> all right, all right. So I can't do anything there until I've closed. Come, flipping shrimp boat. Come all this way from the boonies to save the town from Hell's doormat, and they want me to put on a clean shirt. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Could I use the cold cuppa with the heat? Tasty as it looks, that gunk will ruin my cup before you can say fod glorious fod. Can we use the whiskey bottle? Is it? Toasty whiskey, perfect for those drafty mornings when all you've got on is a flimsy shapeless garment with no arse in it. And then let's go ahead and use that with that. Once again, it's strangely oxymoronic. And now we have a hot cuppa. And let's see, can I go Good out in question. the street? Why don't I just leave now and never come back? I could move somewhere nicer with less crime, like Leicester. That is the way they spell Leicester is very odd compared to the way it's spelled in the uh, English language. Because I just see that city and I just see, call it Leicester. Uh, Good question. Can I, I like look at the Good spelling question. again? Why don't I just leave now and never come back? It's L E I C E S T. So let's double click here. Good question. No, we can't do anything. So it is these four or five scenes right here is all we've got as far as this. And we can't switch back to Lambert. Lambert ran away, I suppose. And we just have the hot cup and the Union flag. And I know what we're going to do with the hot cuppa. So, even though that first set of puzzles was incredibly long, in my opinion, uh, there was the tutorial room and then we were out on the farm for quite a long time. I think now they're going to make up for that and give us a sort of short experience. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're giving us a short experience because there's like, going to be like... A single one-room puzzle with several elements that's rather complicated to save the day afterwards but I also wouldn't be surprised if he just does what he's gonna do here it shows us a cutscene and then that might be it that'd be a little short but not too much short anyways we are done with this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch us every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.